higher and higher and higher. That's just not our trade. All we would do then, this would then turn into what kind of CPR would this turn into, by the way? Do any of you know? Is there's a specific capture pain relief um, stop, um, uh, trade that we can take advantage of? Anybody know? Mark, Trader Dex, no. Adam, no. Mark, no. All right, cool. It's known as the level CPR. Yeah, it's the level CPR. So with a level CPR, ah, yes. <laughs> you realize Adam, yeah, it's a level CPR. And I'll break it down for you. Right. So if price continues to keep going higher, let's say, for example, there's a trade deal and it's going higher. You see these guys right now who don't trade with stop losses or who don't like to accept the loss. What's happening right now to them? They are going through. They've been captured in their position <clears throat> because they went short. Um, into the weekend thinking that you know non farms was going to continue going lower right this was the expectation you've got resistance 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 traders can't help themselves they're going to get short and it you know and it's it's i can't blame them if you know what i mean to it to from the perspective of you know non farms came out it was disappointing etc right but if they don't trade <coughs> with stop losses yeah or they move and keep removing their stop losses and prices keep going against them. This is the capture phase. They've been captured. And once they've committed capital, so this is the commit, the capture. This is the pain phase as prices go against them. And if price comes back down to this area, this is going to be the relief. Yeah. If they went short on that trade, what do they have to do? to exit their position when they get some pain relief. They have to buy. Exactly. Exactly, Adam. <coughs> nice outside four hour candle to short trade. Exactly. Exactly. Look, what you're doing there, yeah, is brilliant. Yeah, because you're looking to see where other traders would have been getting in on that four hour. Yeah. That price action would be very convincing because traders trade four hour time frames, right? So that you know where their stops would have would have been if they're trading with stops. If they're not trading with stops, you know that they're in pain right now. Yeah. If they get took out loads of other four hour candles, so that's a big one. Yeah, there you go. All right. That's exactly it. Think like the trader that's been caught in that position. Think of the former you. I was saying this to Adam earlier. You know, Adam was saying this to me, I should say that he was saying that, you know, with support and resistance, he would have been trading certain, you know, setups. Yeah. This was what he may have been trading before he met, you know, me and uh, joined Trading 180. Now he understands that this is his old self. <laughs> yeah. This is his old self. And you're trading against your old self. Your old self was a losing trader. You know, not to, you know, put it, you know, in, uh, in those terms, but, you know, it was, uh, he wasn't doing too well as, as your old self. And this is how you take advantage of your old self. True for me too. Absolutely. You're not trading. You're trying, you know, the, 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 the point of capture pain relief, yeah. And trading in general, this is the, the zero sum game. Yeah. This is the zero sum game in action. Yeah. For someone to win, someone else has to lose. And this is how we take advantage of losing traders and discipline and traders who are not disciplined. Yeah. Now they're going through the pain phase. Instead of wanting to maybe risk 2% on the trade, if prices keep the further prices keep going up, now they're down 10%. Now they're down 20%. You know, now they're down 50%. They've blown their account. They're adding into trades, etc. What do you think they're going to do here? They're going to have to want some sort of pain relief. Yeah right there and then it's time to do what buy because not only do we have buy tr buy orders from these guys looking at getting out from their uh, 
from their pain. We have new traders, yeah, who trade what levels of resistance, 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 resistance should turn to what? Support, yeah? Should be support. And if, if this is support, what are they gonna be doing? Buying, which is demand, yeah? So look, <coughs> sorry, loads of demand right here coming into the market. And then we have the traders uh, Jindu, you say account to this analysis gold is now in relief. Yeah, all right, I'll move on to gold in a sec, yeah? I'll move on to gold uh, just after this. So, so you know, the pain phase is, is occurring and then the traders that may be getting short here, yeah, are going to do what at a level of support and resistance? What are they doing? they're going to be taking profit. And if they sold here and they got short here, then they have to do what to exit? They have to buy to exit. Yeah? And so this is net-net. This is all demand. Demand orders. Why are we more likely to have more supply orders than demand? Again, we could have risk off. Uh, fundamentals and risk sentiment trump everything. Yeah? So regardless of this technical analysis, you know, emotions are going to, you know, run high if there's risk off, etc. So as long as risk is still on, the dollar is still number one. This now looks like a higher probability trade. The further this goes and puts these guys into a bit more pain, comes back, this is where we want to get long. That's the level CPR. That is the level CPR trade. Everyone follow? Yeah, exactly. So. The point in this before we move on to gold is that you want you want to avoid obvious trades yeah where traders are taking those trades yeah and also look at um understanding why you know those 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 where those obvious trades fail traders and the added the added bonus to this was that we had a catalyst for why traders would have been getting short, and that was because of the non-farm news. So you know that traders are in here. This isn't just some sort of technical pattern. Traders would have been driven by the news, etc. So that's the setup right there. Uh, let's have a look at gold. So the last thing for today. 